Hi, it's Rich from Planet PE, and today we're going to do some quick fire revision videos, particularly looking at the respiratory system. So, I at the dog walk thought I'd have a look at quick things that you might be able to use in the exam on Wednesday to help you looking at the respiratory system. So, let's see how we go. So in the exam, you might be asked to, uh, to explain what the pathway of air is through the body. So if we think about using a tree to help us, that is going to help us massively to make sure that we don't miss any of the system. So I'm going to use this little tree that we have over here. So this is my tree that I'm going to use. So if we have a look at this bit here, okay, so as we go through, think of your respiratory system being an upside down tree. So the air is gonna come in through the nasal passage. It then enters the trachea. So the trachea, we can think as being the trunk of the tree. Now trachea is quite straightforward. It's just a ring of cartilage that basically stops, uh, stops anything that shouldn't be going down there from getting stuck. So as we then go through, as we see a tree branches off, as we see in here, into our bronchi okay now the bronchi are the uh, second largest structure as you go through and then just like a tree they then branch off into our bronchioles which are like the little twigs so if we use the idea that we've got the trunk as the trachea the bronchi as the branches and then the bronchioles as the twigs on top just like a tree we then have our alveoli okay which you're going to think of being the leaves So, within the respiratory system, then we've got the trachea, we've got the bronchi, the bronchioles, and the alveoli. And the alveoli is where gaseous exchange takes place. So, just like with all these wonderful leaves that we have, we've got the process where oxygen is going to be taken in, carbon dioxide goes out. Okay, so when we look at gaseous exchange, the place it takes it takes place at is the alveoli. Now the alveoli has got some really, really quite cool features that allow gaseous exchange to happen. So one is that there are loads and loads of them. There are millions of alveoli. Now every alveoli is then wrapped essentially in a capillary. So the way that our air goes from the environment into our bloodstream, so into our working muscles and all the different tissues, is through gaseous exchange. So it goes through the trachea, through the bronchial, so through the bronchi, through the bronchioles, into the alveoli, and then into our bloodstream through the capillaries. Now, within there, the space isn't very big. So one other thing is that they're really, really thin. So they're only about a cell thick. Now what that means is there's not a lot of distance that the air has to travel for diffusion to occur. So that means that the air isn't lost um, and then we can actually get it into the muscles. And the final thing is that they're really, really flexible. So they're really pliable, so stretchy. So what that means is that the air is gonna be able to go from the environment into our lungs really, really easily. So if you don't already, please like and subscribe to the channel and make sure that you carry on because later on, we're gonna look at the mechanics of breathing.